Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Scissors.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily put a, create HTML style widget text or anything you want and put it in your sidebar. So you see this section here, example widget with HTML. Notice how it has a bullet point list here, how it has links here, how it has bold text here. Normally this would require you to understand how to do HTML coding when creating text, but I'm going to show you a widget that you have installed on your Tizzish site, as well as another shortcut if you want to maybe put a picture or something. Pretty much a cool little um, shortcut basically. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in. What you want to first do is log into your admin panel. So here I am in the admin panel of the demo site. And then scroll down to where it says appearance and then click on widgets. Once this page comes up, you'll be on a section just like this. And on this page, you have the following widget in your Tizish system. It's called the rich text widget. All right, if you don't have this widget in your system, because maybe you're watching this and you're not a Tizish client, then here's, here's the place to get it. Right here, I'll include this link with this video recording in the description of either the blog post and the YouTube uh, page itself. So check that out if you don't have it. But other than that, I'm going to show you another way, along with using the rich text widget as I'm showing you here, I'm going to show you another way that you could use whether you have a rich text widget or not, which is actually my favorite one. So here's the easy one. You take that rich text, wi rich text widget, as you see here, all you can do is drag it up into your sidebar in this right section here. Here we have our sidebar, and notice I already have the example one made. Here's my example widget, and pretty much it's self-explanatory from here. This is just like your traditional WordPress posting panel, you know, with a few of your HTML options. You know, you have your bullet point, your list, you have your links, and all you gotta do is just do this content like you normally would have would a blog post. So let's say if you want to add more text here. So I am adding even more text. And let's say if you're like you want to make this highlighted, or you want to make it bold text. There you go. Now it's bold. Maybe you want to make it italics, or you want to. You want to make it a bullet point maybe, so you hit the bullet point number here and then let's do our next one, next next number point. And you, I think the point's pretty self-explanatory from here. You get it, you have your spell check, you have your centering, left, you know, your left centered and then right alignment and then your block quotes and indention, everything pretty much. And you could upload pictures and all that stuff. So after that, all you got to do is hit save and using this widget, you've now, you've now been able to make HTML style widgets for your sidebar. So here it was originally. Let's go ahead and hit refresh and we'll see it update with the recent recent uh, items we've added. And there it's all set. So that's the first way. All right. Now here's the other way and this way is actually probably my favorite way. It's my it's the way I prefer more. So I'm going to go ahead and take this widget out now. And we just want to get rid of it so it's blank. And my other favorite way is the following. Use a widget called text. It's your basic just regular text widget right here. Take the text widget, put it into your sidebar wherever you want, and now instead of yeah, obviously this one we don't we you would need to know how to do HTML, but we're gonna do a shortcut. Let's go to our add new posting screen, our poster page um, screen. So I just open up a new window. You can't see it, but all I did was click on add new post. You'll recognize this screen immediately under the post link. So now we're in add new post, and all I'm gonna do all I'm gonna do now is create all my HTML using this whole section, what I'm used to, what you may be used to doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a few HTML stuff right now by hitting pause on the recording and coming back in one second. Okay, so I just added a bunch of text and let's just say you want to put some HTML like normal, right? You're going to highlight, let's say this one you want it to be bold, you want this text to be underlined, and I'm just randomly picking some, right? And let's say this text you wanted to make it a different color like you normally would. Let's say you want to make that red text or something. And then let's say here you want to make this a link. And obviously I'm just picking random text for you, it'd be actually links and stuff you want. And then let's make these bullet points. And now I'm going to show you how to upload an image and then put this, how to make this all show up in your sidebar if you want to have custom widgets. So let's say you have all this and then you want to add an image, let's say, that's aligned to your left, right? So what you want to do, let's upload and insert an image. And the key thing, I'm sh I think you may already know how to do the image, but keep watching so you understand about the sizing. Because if you're going to put this in your sidebar, the size of your image is going to matter. So I'm going to find an image from here. Let's go ahead and pick uh, this one. This looks like a good image to use. We're going to put thumbnail. You see the size, 150 by 145? Always choose thumbnail if you're going to be putting images into your, into your sidebar here. All right, You want nothing bigger than 150 because this is a 300 width space. So 150 is about half. So maybe even a little bit smaller, like 125. Let's just see. All right, so thumbnail. 
We're going to insert it into the post, and we're going to see it on our right side, right? Well, let's say you want it on your left. It doesn't matter, left or right. Let's just keep it on the right then. We'll just do that for now. So it's on our right, and remember the size. It was 150, right? So here's what we want to do. Let's go, now that we have our whole widget done, we want to click on the tab that says HTML. Now here, we're going to take, we're going to select all of this text. We're going to right click, we're going to put copy, and now we're going to go back to our widget screen, and in our text box here, we're going to just now paste all that HTML here, because now you technically did an HTML post. Alright, so uh, we'll call this one example HTML2, because the first one was earlier. Now you're going to go ahead and save it. And now once that's saved, you go back to your WordPress panel or your actual page on hit refresh and we're going to see our widget here. And there you go. You see that we have the the image is aligned to the right. We have our text. It's it's bold. It has colors just like all the HTML. Here's the underline and then we have all our bullet points and everything here. All right. So that's pretty much how you do uh, the HTML widget. Let's say if you're like, oh, this picture is still too big. Well, here's what I'd recommend. Go back to your posting panel here, and now go back to visual, and all you gotta do is click on the image, click on this edit image button, and then you'll have 100, 90, 80, 70. So let's, let's say we want 70%. We click 70, and then we click update. After that, it's smaller. So now that we just changed the image, what we have to now do is go back here, we're going to select all the text again the same exact process because we edited one part which means we have to edit the whole copy and paste the whole thing we click copy go back to our widgets we're going to select all this text delete it and then paste and after you paste that there we go ahead and hit save and now that it's saved I'm going to go ahead and go back to the page and now when I refresh this picture will be smaller And there it goes. So now we have a nice HTML widget. It has a good text, nice set, nice uh, HTML here, bullet point list, whatever you want it to be. So basically, that's the best way to put HTML into your sidebar without having to understand and no code. Alrighty? Well, if you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here, and ask me there. Alright? Well, good luck and take care.